All right. Nice. All right. Yes. Finally. Woo. What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Max, Triata Custom Engraving. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be engraving this one cup that I haven't been able to find anywhere locally. So I ordered online and hey, Amazon actually managed to ship in the right size box. Imagine that. But hey, this cup is going to my buddy Isaac from Instagram. Uh, check him out, Sergeant Solar Projects. A uh, real cool dude. He does a really amazing uh, woodwork. And uh, yeah, check him out. And uh, so he wanted to do something real cool. Uh, US Marine involved. It's gonna be Marine uh, Seal and it's gonna be uh, Chevron, Sergeant Chevron's in the back. So let's get started. All right guys, so I have my two designs that I wanna transfer over to the cup and uh, I have my US Marine Corps seal right here. This is more of like old school, uh, I guess your anchor globe and the eagle. And I also have my uh, E5 Sergeant uh, Chevron's. I'm gonna be putting on to the back of this cup right here. And I'm gonna be using my transfer paper, carbon paper I got on Amazon. I think I got like a, a six bucks for like a hundred sheets or something like that. I know some of the subscribers have been asking me what type of carbon paper I've been using. Uh, this is just a re really cheap uh, carbon paper. There's nothing crazy to it. I've been practicing on different types of carbon papers before. Uh, I got some at Michael's. It was maybe like six bucks for like five sheets. So uh, yeah, try out different things and see what you like best, you know? And the biggest thing about transferring over, make sure you put your carbon paper, the shiny side down. So the shiny side over here, I'll make sure you put it down towards the cup and the dull side is gonna be facing the paper, the back of the design. If you don't do that, you're basically going to be transferring all this design onto the back of this paper. So kind of important. looking good I like the green color I think this is the first time I engraved the green cup all right I'm gonna use my Dremel uh, 4000 along with the flex shafts and I'll be using uh, tungsten carbide burr uh, made by Fox Germany this one is size 017 and I typically do around 25 to 30,000 rpm So I'm, I'm getting a decent cut, but I think the problem is my burr is I think, way too deep inside the uh, chuck here. So I'm going to take this uh, burr out just a little bit to get me a little bit more vibration and hopefully deeper cut. Let's see. We'll see if this does it. All right, so that definitely changed a lot as far as the cut goes. Me changing out, you know, pulling out the bit out a little bit definitely created a little bit of uh, more vibration. And then that vibration basically made this burr cut just a little bit deeper. So that's kind of what I was looking for. And uh, yeah, I know one of the subscribers was asking me, hey, does it matter how deep the burr goes? So in this case, yes, it does. Make sure you pay attention to that and play around and see what you like best. Uh, I primarily like something in between, not too much, uh, in or out.
All right, the outline is complete. Now I'm just gonna do the fill. Alright guys, so all done with the Marine Corps seal in the front, uh, the outline, the fill, and now all that's left to do is basically repeat the process for the Chevron. So let's get started on that. All right guys, so as I was engraving, I noticed that my engraving was kind of scratchy and wasn't really uh, penetrating the metal that well. So I noticed that one of the teeth on the uh, burnt on the left here, which I was using, uh, starting to take a little damage. And uh, the one on the right is a brand new burr, so it kind of gives you an idea what the difference might look like. Um, you might not be able to see this, but there's some uh, chunks that are missing on the one on the left. So uh, you can definitely notice it when you're engraving. So whenever you do see that difference, uh, just make sure, you know, just swap that burr to get a better cut. So uh, just something to keep in mind. All right guys, so as I'm doing my fill, I uh, figured I'll take a little break from it and kind of talk about it, how I do it. So basically what I do is go same direction and all the fills, doesn't matter what I do on which side, it's all one direction. I think it just looks better rather than going different directions. Uh, just the way the light hits it, it just makes it look better in my opinion. Uh, so, yeah, that's just another point that I wanted to bring up. Bam! What do you guys think? I think it came out pretty good. A lot of work. I want to do a shout out to two Instagram friends of mine, uh, Aaliyah and Matt. 
Uh, Aaliyah is in the UK and she does really amazing Dremel work. Uh, she does uh, stippling on desktop computers, specifically on the aluminum. Uh, she does amazing job. Different types of designs and uh, yeah, they look awesome. Uh, she also does uh, plastics and uh, glass. Uh, glass is something I haven't really got into, but definitely want to look in the future and try that out as well. Um, and then Matt. Matt is from South Africa, uh, does really amazing aluminum work. He takes an uh, aluminum sheet and spray paints the crazy colors and turns literally nothing into awesome art. And uh, yeah, really appreciate the style and different designs that he comes up with. Um, and I believe he's also a graphic designer like myself. So I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to get a shout out uh, in my next video, uh, leave it down in the comment and let me know uh, what you guys want to do. Uh, you can also hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, also email if that works for you. Uh, just let me know and I will definitely do a shout out for you. If you guys like this video, please comment down below. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one.